Our mission is to provide treatment, education, as well as research. Well, we definitely wanted to bring in the greatest technology we could into the facility. We really want to vamp up our technology. We want to have great carryover with our patients. Specifically this machine, we know that we can get a, a ton more of repetition that we can't provide in the, the normal natural setting of the clinic. We've acknowledged that the use of robotics is the way to really help these patients gain the largest yield in that shorter period of time. You can get 400 reps in a 45 minute session. Allowing that, you know, in a session with like the robot being able to do that, that first of all was just like, that sounds amazing, you know, I want to see this, I want to get more of it. If they have a flaccid arm or if they have a spastic arm, you know, the tone imbalances or if they're just weak, they're able to do so much more with the support of the arm while they're motivated to promote their range of motion. It's good for that visual scanning, for coordination. They're their overall function may be decent, but they need some endurance training, some problem-solving training. It's another tool. It's something different. With the in-motion robotic arm, to show the patient this is you moving your arm, and you know when we're feeling like maybe there is an activation in those muscles, it's able to show that there is, and so it's, it's motivating to them. Research shows, especially with the TBI, a stroke is a form of a TBI and ABI, um, the most important thing is for the affected arm, affected side, is to be used. The team knows their patients, and they know that the in motion was what the patients needed. It's a lot about the motor feedback, how it can detect how much movement is in the arm or how little there is, and it'll adapt to the patient and what they have more functional, and this is helping us to achieve that with these patients, and it's helping the nervous system remember these movements and these pressure points. It's a very innovative way to help retrain the arm. Sometimes muscle tone is so strong that I can't even hardly break it. With the robot, you know, they're moving their shoulder in all these different planes. It allows them the opportunity to actually be able to do that. Even some of our patients that get agitated in therapies because they have pain or they're tired and their bodies are fighting against them. With this tool, it allows them to demonstrate more autonomy with their arm and show themselves how much movement they do have because it's facilitating more of what they actually have. That's again something that's encouraging them, that's giving them that biofeedback, that's fueling that neuroplasticity, and that's just continuing to solidify all those things and motivate them to work even harder outside of therapy because every time they come in to work with a robot, they'd be like getting you know better and better. We had demoed other types of equipment that we think would be a good fit for our population, and we felt that the, uh, the, the InMotion was the best in terms of what we need. 